Hello everyone and welcome back to another day on the realm. So I have made a ton of progress. I have full netherite. I have a really cool base with a complete bridge going between it and a few other places that I use often. But one thing that we're missing that we basically had from day one on the old realm is shops. The only shops are Tyler's shop right here that sells mending, unbreaking, and netherite ingots. And apparently this shop recently popped up that's selling fireworks for one diamond for 32 of them but basically i want to make my own shops here on the realm and the first one is one that i'm pretty sure will be quite successful and that is end busting specifically for elytra and shulker boxes so i started flying in one direction so i wouldn't get lost and after quite a bit of traveling i've discovered my first end city which unfortunately does not seem to have a ship that's okay, because I can still get lots of shulker shells from here. And I believe that is the whole thing rated, and I actually got really unlucky with my shulker shell drops for most of the guys. I got zero shulker shells, so I'm only coming out of that with seven shulker shells. And I just came across my second end city, and once again it doesn't have a ship. And sadly from that one I literally just got four shulker shells. And I just found yet another end city and once again it is very small with no ship. But I just found a jackpot chest, ten diamonds from that. And once again I found a chest with lots of diamonds, seven diamonds this time. And from that I actually went from eleven shulker shells to fifty-one. So I got forty from this one end city. And not much longer I just found another end city. But it is the smallest one possible, except for the fact that it has a ship. And once I kill this shulker, that is the first elytra from this end busting session. And from these two chests, I just found another ten diamonds. Also, I'm already on to my second shulker because this one is full with unstackable gear. Can't forget to grab that dragon head. And I've just spotted a pretty large end city. And luckily, it has another ship. After all that shulker killing, I got just over half a stack of shulker shells and an elytra. And now I'm actually on to the third shulker box. Uh, huh. I think I was just at 27 diamonds, which means that I just found 17 diamonds from that chest. I will take that elytra and those shulker shells. Already the next city has been spotted and it does have a ship elytra treasure dragon head and shulkers and that's a city done and literally within render distance of each other there's another ship right here so i took that elytra and started emptying out iron gear to make space for things like another elytra and these shulker boxes and a final elytra then i shot down some chorus fruits and headed back home and here's the loot I've ended up with. Most importantly, I got seven elytras and a stack and one diamonds, almost three stacks of gold ingots, and one and three quarters stacks of iron ingots, a bit of emeralds, and almost five stacks of shulker shells. I also got lots of health potions that I might just throw out, as well as tons of diamond gear and some saddles, and quite a bit of diamond horse armor. And now that I've got everything sorted, I need to start actually making the shop to sell these items. So I need to break down a lot of this end city, and now that I have all these resources from doing so, I need to actually get something placed. And I think I'm gonna build the shop right on this hill. And right here is that beginning of the build. I think I'll have some barrels right here filled with crafted shulker boxes. And I'm gonna build another island where I'll sell the elytra, I think. It'll probably actually be a mini version of the ship at End Cities. And with a ton of shulkers crafted and stocked in the shop, 
that is now my end shop fully completed. So let's start from the beginning. So first you do a little bit of parkour to get up here, and then you see these one diamond per shulker boxes. And then if you follow this little parkour path over here, it's ten diamonds per on these elytra. And here's a better look at that mini end ship that I made. Right now, I only have space for putting six elytras in stock, even though I have seven in total. But I think I might use that seventh one as a backup elytra anyways. And that is it for this shop, at least. It is now the next morning, and I've already made my first sale of Elytra to Disney Levo. He bought that one right there. But there's still one more shop I want to make, and one more item that I personally need a lot of. And that is fireworks. And luckily, I already have a lot of sugarcane to make the paper for them. Actually, I might need more of that. Anyways, the thing I mainly need is gunpowder, because I have basically none of it. So I guess I need to make a creeper farm, and if I I grab this trident right here, I now have all of the resources for the creeper farm. But obviously that wasn't all the resources, this is all the resources. I'm gonna be building a 24 plus stacks per hour gunpowder farm made by a YouTuber called Oink Oink, I'll leave the video in the description. So I needed tons and tons of resources that took me hours to get. Anyways, let's get to it. And with these last few trapdoors placed, there we go, that is one full layer complete. This has taken me many hours, but now I've sort of got the hang of it, so it shouldn't take too long to finish all of it, because basically what I do for every layer is I place a bunch of blocks, which I already did for this layer, and then I place a ton of fences, and I almost forgot the second layer of fences done, then I place a ton of buttons. And what makes this specific part a bit easier is that you basically just place a button in front of every hole. And with both of those done, I now need to place a ton of trap doors, which is just as easy as the buttons for now because I'm not going to be flicking them just yet. And with that done, I need to place the roof, which is also going to be the next layer. For this one, I start with doing a bunch of strips on every other block, and after finishing those strips I need to place a block every other block on these open ones and with the in-between blocks I'll place there's just one more thing to complete this layer and that is placing trapdoors wherever there's not a hole or a button on the ground and this one takes quite a lot of time and now that I've got all the roof trapdoors placed I need to do the last and quickest part and open all these trapdoors so mobs can fall down and that is exactly what I have to do step by step about five more times. So I've been making a lot of progress on this farm, but I realized that I actually need to collect a few more resources. And that resource is ice. I need it because I need to build the top two layers out of it, so that basically during daytime it'll have maximum efficiency, just like at nighttime. And now I've collected a shulker box full and two extra stacks of ice, which is the perfect amount. Actually, it's one stack over, just in case I lose a couple while building. Anyways, I am on to the final stretch of this farm. And now I am completely done placing all the layers, including the final layer of ice, and the last step is to take a ton of buttons and place them all up here so mobs don't spawn. And with this, that is all of the buttons placed so mobs can no longer spawn up here. So now I can just sit down here, AFK and watch the gunpowder flow in. But gunpowder is not all that you need for a ton of rockets. And luckily over here in Walker's Industrial District, he built a little sugarcane farm here, 
or basically you flick this lever and then that turns on these zero tick kelp farms which feed into these composters which turn the kelp into bone meal which then feeds into this sugar cane so that it grows and gets dispensed into this chest. And on the topic of Walker, he also built the exact same creeper farm as me. It is uh, actually one layer bigger, but I don't think that makes a difference because that last layer is out of the spawning distance. But because we both have OP gunpowder farms, I realized that there's really no point in us both having firework shops. We'll just like get less diamonds. So we're going to be working together on a rocket shop. But the thing is, I completed my gunpowder farm before Walker, and I didn't want to wait for him to make a shop, so I made this, which was going to be my temporary solo rocket shop. But since we had already agreed to make a shop together, he was a little bit confused and decided to just take half the diamonds for the day. And I was a little bit confused because I was thinking that this would be my own shop. Which I realize now was not a very good thing to do. Anyways, this is a little interaction we had uh, the morning that he saw this shop and took half the diamonds. Unfortunately, that recording did not record any audio, but basically I got the majority of diamonds because we made 13 diamonds in sales. Uh, so I got 7 and he got 6, and he would have to provide materials for a bigger and better shop that we might build. So this is going to be our shared shop for now. I don't know if I want to build something bigger or just stick with this, but I'm adding two barrels because on the first day of me making this shop, it sold out one entire barrel of rockets. Anyways, with that done, I just wanted to give you a little update on the end shop. It has been a while since I built this, and I sold all of the elytras within a few days. So I guess I'm going to have to periodically end bust to restock that shop. But with all of that out of the way, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I... I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!